Hi all, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Jagdapas Technologies Private Limited. So in today's session, we'll try to see how to create a web application using Maven in Eclipse. So let's get started. So let's open our Eclipse IDE. So on the left hand side, so either you can go to the package explorer or you can go to the navigator and then try to right click. So once we right click, it will try to open a new pop-up screen. Under the pop-up screen, try to select a new option and then go to project. So once we click on the project, it will try to open a new project wizard. So in the project wizard, we'll try to type Maven. Okay, so once we type Maven, so it will try to show you a folder within something called as Maven. Under this Maven folder, try to select the last option, which is nothing but Maven project. So try to select this and then try to click on next button. So once we click on the next button, it will try to go to the next screen. So without selecting anything over here, so try to once again click on the next button. So once we click on the next button, it will try to move to the next screen. Under the, move, the next screen, so try to scroll down a little bit. So once we scroll down a little bit, at the last you'll be able to see an artifact ID with name something called as maven hyphen architect hyphen web app. So try to select this particular artifact ID and then try to click on the next button. So once we click on the next button, so it will ask few details like what is the group ID and what is the artifact ID. So as I told or as we discussed in the previous session, so group ID is nothing but the package structure. So what is the package structure you want to create? So let's give our package structure as com.jactables and then it is asking for the artifact ID. So artifact ID is nothing but your project name. So for example, for here, we'll try to use simply as my web app. So group ID is nothing but the package structure. So package structure we have giving as com.jactopus and artifact ID is nothing but the project name. So we are trying to give our project name as my web app and then try to click on the finish button. So once we click on the finish button, so it will try to create a project with name something called as my web app. So now let's try to expand this project, my web app. So once we try to expand this my web app project, so you will be able to see a folder with name something called as SRC folder. So let's try to expand this SRC folder. So once we expand this SRC folder, under the SRC folder, we used to have one more subfolder with name something called as main. So let's try to expand this main folder also. So under the main folder, we should get one more folder with name something called as Java. So if you are not going to get it, so we need to make sure like uh, your project is pointing to the JDK instead of JRE. So Currently, our project is not pointing to the JDK. So instead of pointing to the JDK, it is trying to point to the JRE. So let's try to point it to the JDK. So right click on your project. So go to properties. So once we go to the properties, so you will have an option something called as a Java build path. So try to select the Java build path. So once we select the Java build path, so go to the libraries tab. So under the libraries tab, so if you see here, it says JRE system library, right? So instead of JRE system library, we'll try to point to the JDK. So try to select this and try to click on the edit button. So once we click on the edit button, it will try to open a new pop-up screen. So under this, try to select the alternate JRE and then try to select the JDK, which is installed on our machine. So inside my machine, I have JDK 1.8. So I'm trying to select this particular JDK and then let's click on the finish button and then simply say apply and then say apply and close. Okay, guys. So once we click on the apply and close button, so immediately it started showing the folder with something called as Java, right? So in case of Maven, so this is the folder structure, guys. Source, under source, we used to have Maven. Under Maven, we used to have a Java folder. So all your Java programs, we are going to keep under your Java folder. Then we have one more folder with name something called as resources. In case if your project is dealing with any frameworks, like whether it can be a Hibernate framework or whether it can be a Spring framework. So to keep all your configuration classes, or we can say like to keep all your configuration files, we are going to make use of this resources folder. And then we used to have one more folder with name something called as web app folder. So this folder will be coming only if your project is a web application. 
Okay, so let's try to see what does this web app folder contains. So this web app folder, it is mainly used for keeping all your web related activities. For example, if you want to create any JSP pages or HTML pages, okay? So all the JSP pages, all the HTML pages, we are going to keep under this web app folder. And in order to do some kind of client side validations, like if you want to write any JavaScript files, so all the JavaScript files we are going to save under your web app folder and for styling your web pages. So we are going to write CSS files, right? All CSS files also we are going to keep under this web app folder. So generally, all web-related information we are going to keep under this web app folder, guys. Okay, that's it for today's session, guys. For more updates on new upcoming batches and latest job postings, you will uh, you people can always follow us on our Facebook page, which is Java Online Training. See you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.